Hey guys, exam season is rapidly approaching and loads of you have asked me for tips on timings in exams. So here are six easy things you can do to improve your timings in exams. Now loads of people think you have to answer the questions in order. You don't. First thing you do is have a quick, quick flick through the exam paper, pick out all the easy questions, the ones that you like, and answer those first. So often I get students come to me and go, oh, I missed that question on the last page. I didn't get time to it. I saw it and I knew the answer. Well, if you knew the answer to the question, go and answer that question first. You do not have to do the exam questions in the order that the examiners have put them in there for you. Just do the ones you like first. During the exam, you should be roughly checking how fast you're working. You should be working at roughly one mark per minute. So if you find a question is taking you a lot longer than one mark per minute, so if it's a one mark question and you spent five minutes writing the answer to it, you might be writing a bit too much. So just, just leave it and move on to another question and then maybe come back to that question later. But do not spend like loads and loads of time answering one mark questions. One mark questions should take you roughly one minute. Two mark questions, two minutes. Five mark questions, six mark questions. They should take you roughly six or seven minutes to answer. And the thing that I see students do all the, all the time, which gets my red pen out and literally has me crossing out huge chunks of that answer is repeating the answer in the question or repeating the question in the answer that's the right way around isn't it repeating the question in the answer just don't do it you are not going to get any marks for repeating what the examiners have asked you blah 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 I will just put a red line all the way through it and you've written four lines it's wasted time it's wasted energy it's wasted ink and you don't get any marks for it your answer should start with your answer it shouldn't start with a question and it definitely shouldn't start with the word because you don't get any marks for writing the word because so stop it don't do not start your answer with because start your answer with the answer. If you want to do the whole mental thing in your head, blah, 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 happens because, then the answer, great, do that. But do not start your answer with the word because. I think you can tell that's one of the things that really, really winds me up. Just get my red pen and cross everything out. Do not start your answer with the word because. <laughs> now, in science, we have our quality of written communication questions. If it is not a quality of written communication question, do not write in sentences. Write your answer in bullet points. Um, because you don't get any marks for writing in sentences and bullet points are a lot quicker. If you're running out of time on your quality of written communication question, you can write the answer in bullet points, but you won't get full marks from it. Um, but if you're running out of time, that's something you can do. So stop writing in full sentences. I know the English department are going to hate me for this, but I'm right. Um, stop writing in full sentences, stop using the word because, and start using bullet points. And then lastly, start using the stuff the examiners have provided for you. So the mark schemes from the previous year's papers are available on the internet. You can see the bits that the examiners give marks for. And the mark scheme is very, very short. It basically tells us to read what you've written and give marks for keywords when they come up. Go through, read it, and learn what the keywords are that the examiners are looking for. Learn what the examiners are looking for. Learn what they like to read, learn what they give marks for. Um, then you can write less, which is always a good thing. So there we go guys, a few little tips on how to improve your timing in exams. Um, I hope you found that helpful. Uh, this is part of a really, really long playlist about revision. Loads and loads of stuff um, coming up. If you need any help or anything, just ask.